your vote is diluted, your power and representation is diluted by the presence of non-citizens for purpose, at, at being used for purposes of apportionment in Congress. There was a big debate uh, this week in the House. The House tried to pass, or successfully passed, with no Democrat support, a bill that would have required the following. Let's go to that bill. Equal Representation Act. The bill requires any questionnaire used in the decennial census to include a checkbox or other similar option for respondents to indicate respondents to indicate whether the respondent and each household member is a U.S. citizen. Can you believe they don't want to track that? Of course you can believe it, because the left doesn't want you to know how many foreign nationals are in the United States to any certain extent, clear extent. The Department of Commerce, which runs the census, must make, must make public the number of citizens and non-citizens in each state. They don't want you to know about the invasion that's happening in plain sight. Of course they oppose that and don't want that to happen. The bill also requires that the statement sent by the by the, that the statement sent by the president to Congress indicating the number of persons in each state related to the reapportionment of U.S. representatives excludes non-citizens. That's what the left really opposes. You know, first of all, we have the issue of non-citizens voting. Okay of the potential of non-citizens voting, both legal and legal citizens, legal and illegal citizens who uh, are not supposed to be voting in federal elections. There's no real check in place to stop them from voting. Now the law technically, or not explicitly, stop the, pre prevents them from voting in the sense that it's illegal, but there's no check. Meaning that when a state takes a registration form and someone says, I'm a citizen, they just have to take their word for it. There's, it's the honor system. Obviously, that's a fraud waiting to happen. So that's one danger to our democracy with the presence of tens of millions of foreign nationals here in the United States. Of course, they're going to be voting in elections. Of course, they are. And the other danger, which is more indirect, but has significant, and probably more significant, is that the presence of foreign nationals, legal and otherwise, and illegal aliens, for instance, 10 million people, they're counted for purposes of the census under current law. And what does that mean? It means that when the census is taken and the numbers are, are thrown, are, are put out there, a state that has a bunch of non-citizens, they get the benefit of the, the presence of those non-citizens with greater representation in Congress and more electoral votes in the Electoral College during the presidential elections. So places like California, who are seemingly hemorrhaging citizens who are tired of the socialist politics there, they, you wonder why is it they keep on doing it? because they don't care, they don't need citizens to keep on doing it, because they're replaced with non-citizens and they maintain Congress power in Congress and their seats in Congress by replacing citizens with non-citizens. Their presence gives them increased power and effectively leads to members of Congress unequal representation in Congress at the House level, because you will have a member of Congress who represents, for instance, a district with many non-citizens and less U.S. citizens. So they're representing less voters but have equal power with a congressman who represents virtually only citizens in Congress. Your vote is diluted. Your power and representation is diluted by the presence of non-citizens for purpose, at, at being used for purposes of apportionment in Congress. Isn't that quite the racket? So the 10 million people are here now, unless they're removed or the law has changed that doesn't allow them to be counted, the 10 million that Biden is importing through his illegal, unprecedented attack on America through this invasion, the next census comes around, the states where those people live are gonna get more political power in Congress, necessarily. 
either they will retain power they otherwise would not have had if citizens weren't there or have more power that they otherwise would not have had because non-citizens are there. Does that sound right to you? It doesn't to me. And Trump tried to change that. He was interfered with by the Supreme Court. And here Congress is trying to change it. I'm glad they're doing it. I'm glad, I'm glad the vote was taken. But let me give you a little bit of a different, they were complaining that Democrats didn't vote for it. Well, why would they? They didn't need to. Why wasn't this attached to the must-pass spending legislation earlier this year? If it's so important, why wasn't it part of, you want the government operating, then you don't count non-citizens in apportioning power. You don't use non-citizens to take political power away from American citizens. We're gonna shut the government down over that. No, they didn't do that. So here we have a bill that was passed by a party line vote in Congress going to go nowhere in the Senate. So is it good that the discussion's happening? Yes. But I'm frustrated that, you know, Republicans are going to take credit for talking about something at the exact time when it's least likely to accomplish anything. So that's my take on that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.